to present this award to an outstanding Carolinian, an outstanding Cebuano, an outstanding Filipino, a outstanding person. The conferment reads as follows. Lifetime Achievement Award is conferred on Dr. John L. Gokongwe Jr. Secondary Education, Alumnus, Doctor of Science in Business and Enterprise Development, University, Honoris Causa of the University of San Carlos, for a lifetime of invaluable contributions that addressed the needs of local, national, regional, and global communities, and for having deeply touched, empowered, and transformed the lives of others through a legacy of entrepreneurship and education. Congratulations, Dr. Sir, Dr. Gokong Sir. Father Dionisio Miranda, Dr. Jesus El Cardo, my fellow Carolinians. It's always special to be back here in Cebu, my hometown. And it's extra special to be here at my alma mater, the University of San Carlos. I flew this morning on the airline I named after the city I love, Cebu Pacific. I went to school here at the University of San Carlos for my primary and my high school. I was valedictorian at grade school and I was number one in class in my high school because of that received, I received free tuition and in school. I thank the school for not uh, getting a band over me. I remember Father Chris who taught us English literature and Mr. Kibila and the principal. I especially remember Father Smith who was the disciplinarian because one day he caught me running in front of his office and I had to stand in his corner for one hour. When my father, when I was 13 years old, my father died, leaving me to take care of my, my mother, my brother, and my sister. At the time, my youngest brother, James, was only nine months old. I took care of them all because the family has always been my priority. It was here in Cebu that I first earned my first few pesos. I used to, used to wake up before dawn to ride my bicycle to the public market many kilometers away. I set up a little table in the market to sell spools of thread, bars of soap, and candles. I earned about 20 pesos a day by working longer and harder than everybody else. But it didn't matter since I really love my work. I love being an entrepreneur. <laughs> and so, so all through the years, I stayed an entrepreneur, loving what I did, working hard, and always learning from the school of life. Years later, when I was married to my lovely wife, Bia, and I had six children of my own, I finally had the means to go back to school. I went to the LaSalle University to get my MBA. It took me four years since I was a working student. When I got my diploma, it was one of the proudest moments in my life. Then I went to Harvard in 1972 for 14 weeks to take the advanced bondsman program. Today, I am 92 years old. I still wake up early and still love to do what I'm doing. I still know everything that's going on in my company. I stop to learn and I'm always reading books and now online stories in this new digital age. 
I always tell my children, my grandchildren, and my colleagues, love your work, work hard at it, love your family, love your country, never stop caring. And always look back and be grateful to where you came from. Thank you, University of San Carlos, for being a large part of what I am today. I thank you for this Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you.